Hi guys, so welcome to lesson two of the Wylock sixth grade worksheet. Today we'll start with order of operations, and I'm going to do one and six with you guys on this section. So to solve these, you want to remember PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, which is just the basic order of which you want to solve these problems with. So for example, for number one, we can see that four times three plus one is inside the parentheses, which means we have to solve that first. So 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1. That's 13. So 13 minus 3. If we solve that, it comes out to 10. So 10 would be your final answer. Let's try number 6. This one's a little harder. So we have two sets of parentheses. One is 4 times 1, and the other is 9 minus 2 plus 4. So 4 times 1 is 4. 9 minus 2 is 7. Plus 4 is 11. So if we add these two your final answer would become 15. Pretty easy, right? Okay, you guys could do the rest on your own. And the second section is word problems. So I'll be doing numbers three and six with you guys on this section. So for number three, Jeffrey drinks four gallons of water every day. How many gallons of water does Jeffrey drink after one week? So for this question, here are some key terms. Four gallons every day and after one week. So first we need to figure out how many days are in one week, which is seven. So it's asking how many gallons does Jeffrey drink in seven days? And since there's four gallons every day and seven days, this is a multiplication problem of four times seven, which is 28. So Jeffrey drinks 28 gallons every day. Let's try the second problem. This one says Thomas his phone is at 5%. He wants to charge it to 100%. If his phone charges 5% every minute, how long will it take Thomas to reach his school? Some key terms here is 50% to 100%. And it charges 5% every minute. So first, we don't want to figure out how many percent his phone needs to charge, which is 100% minus 50% to come out to a total of 50%. And his char phone charges 5% every minute. So in order to figure out how many minutes it takes, we do 50 divided by 5. So 50 divided by 5 is 10. So it will take Thomas a total of 10 minutes to reach his goal. So the answer is 10. Pretty easy, right? Next section, we'll be doing exponents. I'll be doing numbers 1 and 2 with you guys. And so... Do, let's do number two first because this one's slightly more easy. So basically what the caret symbol means is to the power of. So for example, if it was two caret four, that means two to the power of four. To keep that in mind, let's try number two. Eight to the power of two, which is just basically just eight times eight which comes out to a total of 64. So your answer is 64. Now let's apply that knowledge to number one, which is a little more harder because there's more steps. So in this parentheses, we do it first. So two carat three plus one minus two. If we rewrite that, it's two to the power of three plus one minus two. So first, we're going to do the 2 to the power of 3 first, which is just 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, so it's 8 plus 1 minus 2, which is 9 minus 2, which is 7. So 7 is your final answer. Let's go on to the next section with simplifying expressions. I'll be doing 4 and 9 with you guys. Simplifying expressions just means to divide. So this one would be 21 divided by 9, which is 2. 18, 21 minus 18 is 3. So we can see that there's a remainder of 3. And basically, how you want to write this equation is, goes in 2 times, so 2. And then this number over what was already in the denominator. So three over nine. We can simplify that to three, one over three. So that would be your final answer. 
Let's try number 9. 22 divided by 3. It goes in 7 times. 7 times 3, 21. 22 minus 1 is 1. 1 remainder and 3 was in the original denominator. So your answer would be this number up top. So 7, 1 over 3. That's your final answer. And like the previous problem, we don't need to simplify. So we could just leave it like this. Let's go on to the last section, which is finding the area and perimeter of triangles. So here's some things to remember. To find the area of a triangle, you do the height times the base divided by 2. And to find the perimeter, it's just all the sides added together. So let's try number 1. Here are the measurements given for the triangle above. So to find the area, we have to use this formula. So let's do the height, which is 4 times the base, which is A in this question, and A is 3. So 3 divided by 2. So 4 times 3 is 12 divided by 2, and if you simplify that, it comes out to 6. So your answer for area would be 6. Now for the perimeter, we just have to add these up. So since B is the same as 5, it's B plus the other B plus the bottom, which we found out to be 3 earlier. And if we add all that up, it comes out to... 13. So the perimeter of this particular triangle is 13. Let's try one more question, number 4. This one looks a lot more simpler than the one before. So here are the numbers we need to pay attention to. So for area, this part, the B side, would be the height of the triangle. So B, 7, times the base would be A, so 8 over 2. 7 times 8 is 56, and we want to divide that by 2. Now, if we divide 56 by 2, it comes out to 28. So your final area for this triangle is 28. Now, to find the perimeter, we want to add A, B, and C together. So A was 8 plus B, which was 7, plus C, which is 11. If you add all of these together, we get seven, 8 plus 7, which is 15, plus 11, which is 26. So your final perimeter would be 26. Not that bad, right? So try the rest on your own.